What's going on everybody, Shop with Scott, and today we're taking a look at this Faraday space heater. It is the winter time, it is coming, winter is coming now. So let's get ready for it and see how this Faraday uh, heater works. Now let's do a quick unboxing to see exactly once we get inside instructions. So we'll put this to the side. And then it's nicely packaged, as you can see, very nice and snug. Move it, it's really nice and snug in there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Very well packaged, so you're not gonna have to worry about it breaking or anything on the route to delivery. So let's take the wrapping off. It looks actually really nice. Um, and I say that is as an aesthetic appeal um, when I'm just taking a first glance at this. Like, look at this thing. It has a nice little interface here. Let's pull out this remote that it comes with, which is pretty cool. So I don't have to get out of bed at night and turn it on or off. So you have this really, oh, is it a little, I don't know why we're not focusing guys. I have to put my face in front of it. Do, 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 there you go, right there. So we have the power up and down, manual, time setter, everything like that. Boom, really cool. And I believe it also rotates from left to right. Yes, it does. I am correct. So we're like, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. We are back and we are taking a look at the Faraday heater. Now let's take an up close look so you guys can see. The design is really nice and sleek. I really like it. It's not too big and it's gonna, it looks really good. Like it, it's just a good looking unit right now. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. So it goes and it immediately starts at 75 degrees every time you start it up and it's in eco mode. Now just keep in mind the flashing light that you're seeing, the numbers, that is not what you what is actually happening. That is just the frames per second on my camera. So don't worry, it is not going to flash or give be a strobing effect. Now something some things to note about this, you have the different modes. You have your high, low, and then eco and then you have your plus and minus in you have your plus and minus for the temperature you can set a timer here your different timers okay so that's your hours or whatever i think it goes up to yeah it goes up to 12 hours um if you want to set that a timer for for when you're sleeping and then you have the oscillating button as well that will push it from back to forth. Um, but then this is where you're gonna wanna use the remote because that's gonna be the thing that does that. And also you have anti uh, tip over protection. So if this tips over, it's gonna shut off automatically. And you can see at the bottom, this is where you can see there's a gap or you can see the oscillating that's gonna take place. Uh, it's just very slow, it's very nice, uh, but it is a very good looking unit that works really well because i can tell you right off the bat my legs were just you know getting blasted with heat so definitely going to be a very good heater it is way too hot for me in this room right now and then nice thing here is uh there you can shut it off like that or there's a 30 second countdown that you can do as well either one you can have you can set it up that's just to your preference, guys. Um, but overall, I really like this. The remote looks super nice as well. I would show you the remote. I just don't have the batteries right now. It doesn't come with batteries. Just keep that in mind. So you need the batteries. I believe they are AAA. Yes, two AAA batteries are needed for this unit. But overall, it is a really solid space heater. And I think this is probably my favorite space heater that I've owned or have seen. So thank you for watching, guys. And have a wonderful day.